Hello everybody, my name is Adrahan Ismail, I'm a medical student and today we're going to talk about the components of the cardiovascular system. We're going to mention the components first, then we're going to explain them one by one by detail. So the first component we're going to discuss today is going to be the dual pump of the heart. The second one we're going to talk is going to be about the blood. Third one is going to be the tubular system. And fourth is going to be the regulations of the cardiovascular system. So we're going to start explaining. For the dual pump, it's divided into two parts. The admission chambers and the ejection chambers. Admission chambers which are the atriums and the ejection which are the ventricles. The right and left ventricles, right atrium and right ventricle form the right heart and the left atrium and the left ventricle form the left heart okay so for the blood for the second component of the cardiovascular system which is the blood we're going to discuss it now it's divided into two parts also the blood is divided into plasma and cellular components the plasma is divided into water ions gases and other organic components For the cellular components, they are divided into three parts, which are red blood cells, white blood cells, and the platelets. For the tubular system, we are going to talk about, it has the systemic, and the pulmonary systems it also has vessels the arteries veins and capillaries And it also has the self-repairing system. For the regulation of the heart, of the cardiovascular system, it's divided into three parts. The intrinsic system, The systemic, which is divided into another two, the nervous and the endocrine. And for the last part, which is the local or metabolic regulation. So these were the components of the cardiovascular system that we discussed. 
Thank you everybody and hope to see you soon again in the next videos.